Hello, and here we are at the Centre for Computing History again. I'm Adrian, and this, of course, is Phil. Hello. And today we're going to have a look at unboxing the new Nintendo Classic Mini. Now, you may think this isn't particularly historical, and given we're a computer museum, or you might think we're only dealing with the old, rather dusty stuff. But we do have a lot of systems out on display, and they're all original wherever possible. We've got an amazing collection of software to go with it. And if you come to the museum, uh, you get a chance to go through our gaming area where we've got a timeline of systems all running on original CRTs, um, all there to use, so you can really get a feel for how things were back in the day. And of course, as many people will know, this is the modern, much miniaturised replica of the old Nintendo NES. I think we actually have a slightly larger box. That's the original. Yeah, this is the Super Set from around about, I think it was about 88, so... Uh, but we're not interested in that. We're not Throw interested in that today. We're going to put that to one side and well, this little beauty. turn our attention to this. So It looks exactly the same. They've got the styling just right. They have. It has 30 inbuilt games. Um, some of them you can see here. They've got original boxes and, and inside original carts. At first glance, I would say it appears to be pretty good value, it costs £49.99, although at the moment you can't find them anywhere, they've completely sold out. We were quite lucky to get hold of this one. We were quite lucky to get hold of this one. Uh, our game. friends at Game held one for us, which is superb. Um, yeah, the th so the 30 games in it, there's some quality things on there, so there's all three Mario games, we've got Kirby, Donkey Kong and uh, forty nine ninety nine. You've got to say it's a bit of a bargain. I think you'd probably pay that much just getting hold of the games. You, these days. Well, you would not get two of these games for fifty quid. You've got Metroid there that's thirty pounds as a loose cart, sixty quid whole. Um, add to that Star Tropics here. Mm. So this was only ever released in America. It didn't didn't even make it to Japan, so which makes it quite first unusual. EU release. And so that's on here. That's £15 loose, £30 boxed. And so you've got a few, I would say, good few pounds worth of... It's not just the ones everyone knows. Of course, you've got Mario, it's got, uh, it's got a Pac-Man game. There's a few less common ones on there. Yeah, so certainly. even if you've played a lot of the games before, there's probably something a little bit different for you. Yeah, it's got oh, some of the other classics on there. Excite Bike, Balloon Fight. So... Right. Are we going to have a little look inside? Let's dig in. All right, so let's see what we've got in the box. Uh, undo it very carefully because we are very careful how we handle things here at the museum. Keep them as pristine as possible. The manual, of course. So the obligatory manual, although the My Nintendo reward card. Ah, you get points. You get points. Oh, now look at this. Wow, I was not quite expecting it to be this tiny. Um, I stinky. It's adorable. That is really quite cute, isn't it? Let's put that in there. It so. does look pretty much like the original. See, you've got a little reset. Oh, button. there it is. Yep. USB ports, though, not a custom connector. HDMI and a mini USB socket on the back. So, let's just put that up there a minute. Can we compare that? To an original. I do have an original here. Shall we unplug that? There it is. So, looks like a little uh, paperweight. <laughs> so, when it says 30 games pre installed, I sort of assumed you could install other games later. You cannot. It is not possible to install new games onto it. So, the 30 games you've got. That's your lot. That is your lot, but at the end of the day, there is an awful lot of gameplay in there. That's true. Right, so let's have a look at the new controller. Uh, you only get one controller with this. Yes, that you, others are available to buy. So here we go again, so we've got a bit more unwrapping to do here. Now, should we take the old NES away? Yep, let's move you back over here. So, so ah, much like the original. I thought they were USB connectors when I first looked at them, but that's that is to not. That is, I believe, the Wii nunchuck type socket. Right, so let's see what we've got here. 
Now, the first thing I can see... Mm. It's fairly short. Is, ...is very short. So if we compare that to an original Nest controller... We have so much cable here. So it's very, yeah, identical in any other, every other way, apart from... Apart from the cable. Although, when you're a child, you're always told not to sit too close to the TV, it'll damage your eyes. Indeed. The people who are paying 50 quid for this are presumably, you know, 20, 30 years old, their eyes are shot anyway. <laughs> well, yes, yeah. Uh, that'd be one way of looking at it, I guess. Also in the box here, we have an HDMI lead. That's also fairly short. Also, yes, it is. Right, the last little piece we've got in the box is a... USB to mini USB cable for charging. Now, you don't appear to get a charging plug with it, which is... Mm, a bit unfortunate. It's I suppose you've always got one somewhere. Yeah, but they don't cost an awful lot of money, is it? That is, you'd think you'd have one little, in there. They don't cost a lot, do they? It's a little bit off. Um, ah, well, I'm sure we can find one somewhere. All right, it's all plugged in. Let's give it a go. Okay, so we've got an English language screen here, so we are choosing English language. Ah, right, so we have a rather snazzy looking menu. It's slightly higher res than I think the NES could do. It's an emulated system, isn't it? There is, yes. Um, so also, we've got a display option up here, so let's see what that does. Oh, I see, you can oh, add okay. CRT filter to make it look a bit authentic to what it used to do. Four by three or pixel perfect. Four by three or pixel perfect. I think we'll go from start off with pixel perfect. Um, yeah. Is there a sound option to turn off the menu music? So we've got demo auto shutdown screen burn reduction. That's handy for modern TVs. Um, You've got a plasma, you might appreciate that. Indeed. So language. Right, so we'll skip over the legal notices. Um, with manuals. Oh, so it brings up a QR code. Hell. Should we give that a go? And see what happens. Who uses QR codes? A lot of people still use QR codes. Well, they could put the manuals on for the virtual console on the Wii. Yeah, but yeah. Maybe they're not hurting oh, for space on this little thing. So it comes up with... It comes up with a Japanese website for a start, which is... Oh dear. And there we go. So it comes up with the uh, instruction manuals for all the electronic manual or a printed manual. That's a bit lazy in my opinion. They could have had that. Yeah, online. but the thing is, you can play the game whilst looking at the manual on your phone. Why would you want to stop the game to look at the manual? Oh, so you know. If I'm reading the manual, I can't play the game. I only have two eyes and they're both facing forwards. <laughs> Very odd, very odd indeed. What do the legal notices look like? Are they online as well? <laughs> oh no, they're on the system. <laughs> so, let's just have a little look through the games here. A couple of Donkey Kongs, Double Dragon, Dr. Mario, Excite Bike, I always liked Excite Bike. Of course, I was more a Nintendo person than you, you were Sega, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, So um, we would not have got on in the playground. We wouldn't. So really, these games are quite new to you then? You well, of course I've played Mario, Mega Man, all the fan favourites, but I never actually enjoyed them. So, let's have a go at one of the more expensive games to get hold of. Let's have a little look at Metroid. Ah, oh, that's the Metroid I know and love. So, start here. Ah. Okay. Wow. Very nice. Oh, mm, Pixel Perfect is um, very pixely. I wouldn't have looked like this at all on a CRT. There'd have been some blurring involved, all sorts of things going on. It just looks cleaner <laughs> than I would remember. So, oh, well, however many inch um, LCD screen probably helps. It's a, well, we are playing Pixel Perfect, yeah. maybe the CRT filter. Should we try the CRT version? Yeah, is there some way to let's just go do that in game? It's just, I don't know if you can. I, I've gone back into the menu, haven't I? Yes. Okay. Oh, right. 
That's closer to how I'd imagine it would look. It certainly is. Oh, yes. I'm not sure if it's just me, but the, the colours do look slightly... A bit more vibrant. Well, if I am remembering that correctly, then the oranges look a bit browner. But that's a small thing. Not being funny, this is probably how I would play it if I owned one of these. Mm. I would definitely have to have it with the scan lines. I think younger people possibly that... It's easy to overdo the scan line thing. I mean, you see some of these, um, especially arcade emulators, they look nothing like a CRT would because they've got all sorts of weird stretching, distortion going on and 50% of the screen is just black lines. But this is all right, this is fairly subtle. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's have you enjoying some Nintendo, so oh, let's, uh, let's see what we've got. Because I think we've frozen the game. I think if you then press B, I think... Okay, you... A is on the right. So here we go again with the... 1989. Scan lines. Of course, we do actually have this at the museum as well. So this is the very Start. The original... Ah. There we go, wall jump. I'd that's say not, the experience is really very authentic indeed. It's, uh, of course, the one big difference is we'd have been playing this game quite a bit slower and with borders ah, they, back in the 80s. They have adjusted it to run at the same speed regardless of yeah. PAL or NTSC. Ah, I'm not really good at this game at all. It's actually the first time I've ever played this, so... Uh, yes, doing okay. It's some, some sort of reputation for being really difficult. It is, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I can see that. Okay, there we go. And oh, no. <laughs> I think I'm done for. Let's try something else. I've, I'm not doing well at this. Okay. Now, also, should we change the screen back to mm. a nice... Four by three? Let's try that one. I'm doing Pac-Man. I can do Pac-Man. We might have been able to do two player on that one. So again, I don't know if it's just my eyes, but the colours he, do seem yeah, he's not. Off. He's not very red, is he? <laughs> That's how it does look very crisp and. Um, this is very Clear. playable. Yeah, it's not very NES orientated, is it? No, no, you, not. Yeah. I enjoyed it though. Yeah. All right. All right, give it back to me. We need. We need. Let's some... see a pro at work. Well, I don't know about that. But oh, super, super C, super contra. Yeah. We knew it over here as Probotector. They replaced all the robots, uh, the contra rebels, with robots. Is this a licensing some, issue? No, it was some political thing going on at the time. Oh, of course. They didn't like South the... America. Yeah, they didn't like the... Um, right, here we go. Oh, no, I need a better gun. I'm going to die. Uh, there are no better guns. Oh, yes, they are. They're those icons that I keep failing to... Oh, for goodness Ooh. sake. Right, well, feel free out there on the internet to laugh at my um, faded gaming skills. Because I should, no way should have died there, but um, but oh, I'm hopeless. Ah, oh, see, you, you zigged when you should have zagged. Ah, oh, see, look, there's. Ah, oh, no, I'm going to. Okay, let's play something else. So, at any time, we can come down to one of the game saves, which is quite nice. Mm -hmm. So now we're going to give oh, hang on. the original Donkey Kong. Press select a second. What does sort do? Oh, so you can sort by oh. two-player games or one-player games. Not just alphabetical, then. Oh, that's quite cool. Yeah, press again, see what our options are. Ah, recently played, by times played, or by release date. OK, nice little feature that's not immediately obvious. Yeah, so we'll, we'll go at Donkey Kong now. Oh, we're still in the scanline mode, which I like. I like this. You're the Donkey Kong expert here, aren't you? I did all right on the Mega PC knockoff version. But we did a lot of takes for that one. Because I'm... Oh. 
He really is a fat plumber in these games, isn't he, as well? What's game B? Is that oh, just a different mode? Skills going on here now. Oh, I've only reached her. Wow! First time. Skills. You took yourself down too much. There you go. I think we should really take a look at Super Mario Brothers, shouldn't we? Um, and let's have a little play of this. All right. Oh yes. Now, of course, this this game we would still know at this this at the speed it is because um. Mario right Brothers was one of the very, very few games that Nintendo optimised for PAL. <laughs> so, and it actually plays faster than it does in Japan. So you actually have to be better at the game to get to the yeah. same, same place. So... Hey, I can now fire. I can now actually... You can't jump very well though. I can't, no. I can't play very well at all today. I'd like to just say today because I don't want to. Oh, it's been on. a long day. It's been a long day, yeah. Okay, overcome by excitement with the, yes. the NES Mini. Is this I mean, there really is a lot of gameplay for it, for the money here. Yeah. Um, and it being a pre-packaged system that just works is always always an advantage. Yeah. I mean, you, yeah, you could make one of your own with some sort of little emulator thing and. I do think it's a little bit of a shame in this day and age that you wouldn't, you're not able to connect up to a virtual console, say like the Wii or the 3DS has, to download more games. I think that would have made it. It's a bit of a shame. A lot more impressive. I suppose I want you to buy those in stores. And of course, you wouldn't be able to use your own Nintendo account to download games because Nintendo, unfortunately, have stuck resolutely to tying the machine, the games t that you buy online. Oh, to, to each machine to rather each than to machine. each account. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> See, now there, that's what oh, happens dear. when my complete lack of concentration comes to. That's the yeah, excuse we'll that. I'm going to use. Um, so what else we got here? See, Balloon Fire is quite fun. You'll, you'll, you'll like Balloon Fire. Have a go at that. Um, Let's give it a go. Okay, I'm... Oh, I can fly. That's quite nice. You can fly. I, I notice how you're actually doing better than these games that I used to play years ago, than I've been doing. Which oh, is... and I've lost a balloon. There's the idea that I land on top of them. Yes! Yes, got to pop the balloons. Pop their balloons. There you go. There we go. I am master of the sky. Yeah. I've got a bonus bubble. So what is... One of Nintendo's great one-screen games. Here we go. Death from above. Oh no! That's actually pretty good fun. That is a good fun game, Billy. Should we try another one before uh, oh, you get no, completely I'm addicted to this, this one? Oh, okay. One more. Oh, it's having a. Yeah. I mean, there's got to be some way to get back here without pressing the reset button, but I haven't uh, found it. I don't think there is. No, no, that is one of the complaints about it. There is no reset button on here, but. It's so, old school, isn't it? It's copying an old console. I suppose there's no way you're going to get far enough away you won't be able to press the reset button. Yeah. I'm also not entirely sure about some of the other complaints that you've got to sit right on top of the TV to play it. Because you can, you can sit. There's a kid that's a how you fair do way it. back. Yeah. Um, oh, it's a bit of Castlevania. Game series, of course, that's carried on. I've just paused the game. Over. There we go. See, I think this is the sort of thing where you might want the CRT filter, where you've got these yeah. very detailed uh, sprites. Because it does look quite pixely without, mm. doesn't it? That's so not how it would have been in the past. They would have all the colours would have merged yeah. slightly, and I think the art was designed to take advantage of that on an older screen. Oh. Oh, they've even got the sprite limit emulated properly. I mean, it is pretty much the old ex experience. The controller is very well done. It's 
so it would give people a very good idea of what the NES was all about. A good selection of games. Yeah. Some nice options like changing the uh, screen to look more authentic. I do like that. Actually, if we go back, can we have a quick look at this with the filter turned on? Just yeah, let's just like. have a quick look at that. There we go. I think you've pressed down from here. Oh, I see. Now, now okay, you can save the game suspended, and you can actually save it. That's a nice touch. That's, that's a nice little touch. I like that. A lot of the games didn't have any save so, password thing at all. So, and then you just press A to get back into the game. Now that, yeah, that's be looking better. That's looking more old school. Yeah, all that sharp outlining around the clothes has turned into, I suppose, shaded areas, shadows. Yeah. So yeah, I would say apart from the fact you cannot add new games to it, it's a little bit of a problem. Mm. It's a very nice little machine. I think you would get hours of enjoyment out of it and you would go back to them. They have picked games that are, they have got good replay value. Mm. And of course you've got the likes of Zelda that we haven't looked at, uh, quite big RPGs and I think it's uh, quite a nice little system. A yeah. charger in the box would have been good. It would have been nice. Uh, yeah, so yeah. I quite like it. Oh, hello. Oh, Doesn't now look, we've got a shutdown screen. There we go. Okay, thanks for watching. Thank you.